There is a malfunction. You must replenish lost fuel. I will guide you through the deck. You must follow directions. Travel to the surface of the planet. Warning. Orbital scan detected an airspace barrier over the city. Emergency landing procedure engaged. You must explore the area and find fuel. Alice, I cannot detect any presence of life. The city appears abandoned. I suggest you ignore it and stay focused on your task. Do not waste time on this. אוקיי, okay, אז כל, כמו שראיתי פה, כמובן כל זה יהיה ב-VR, משחק הוא אליס VR, חברה עם פולין שנקראת קארמן סטודיו, ואנחנו עכשיו... אוקיי, now we can see you. Could you see me now? Yeah. Hi Alexander, say hello to everyone. Hello. Hi, hello. So, Alexander from uh, Carmen Studios will uh, talk to us now about his game, uh, Alice VR. Alexander, uh, the stage is here. You can start. Ah, okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, hi, hello again. Uh, nice to be with you. Uh, thank you for the introduction. And uh, I'm Alexander, and I'm from Poland, Carbon Studio. We are developer of uh, Alice VR. Uh, a few words uh, uh, today. I will start sharing the, uh, the screen. Okay, could you see the presentation now? Yes. yes. Fine, perfect. Uh, so, uh, we have got very um, many challenges uh, during uh, developing VR stuff, for example, games or applications. And so uh, I want to share with you my, uh, my experience with, um, with developing uh, Alice VR and designing, designing it for for the for the VR, uh, so the, the the main four um, topics uh, today it will be movement in VR, performance issues, scale in the in the world, and uh, bugs and features, uh, because uh, sometimes bugs could be a feature, uh, especially in the VR. Um, so I I started uh, my journey with the, the game development almost seven years ago. In the Farm 51, uh, I worked uh, on painting your uh, uh, the nation, the pool adventures, uh, get even. And uh, two years ago, I have started uh, with my own company, Carbon Studio. And uh, for, from the be beginning, we, we we think about the VR, and uh, VR is our main main focus. Uh, and uh, I'm the teacher in the Academy of Fine Arts in Katowice. Mm, I'm teaching the animation and the game design. Uh, in Carbon Studio, I'm the art director and uh, business development manager. Mm, so uh, for me, in the Alice VR, it's, uh, mm, it's the, the, the journey with... Uh, the, it has to be a beautiful journey for, for VR players. 
Uh, a few words about Alice. Uh, Alice is the first person perspective game, uh, mostly a puzzle, adventure, exploration game. Inspired by the Alice in the Wonderland, so but transferred to the sci-fi environments. Uh, we, we choose the, the uh, Alice uh, in the Wonderland uh, for the, the story concept, uh, because we, we started with Alice uh, almost uh, one year and one and a half year ago. Uh, with the VR jam, uh, the first VR jam from uh, Oculus and uh, and the Unity, but uh, we were the, the the only one team who did it with Unreal Engine, and uh, we started Alice like a very small um, story game uh, with uh, just a few puzzles to to solve, and uh, we tried to to some kind of realistic graphic, but uh, it was designed for the Samsung Gear VR and, uh, and, and, uh, and the Samsung Gear uh, wasn't ready for the realistic graphic uh, year, year, one year ago. Uh, okay, so the, the first topic, uh, movement in VR, it's uh, very important for us uh, because uh, we uh, will be we, we give the um, pos give the players possibility um, possibility of the um, movement uh, in VR uh, the, the free movement like in the classic uh, first person games is uh, very important. But uh, I want to start from the from the the, the last one the room teleport. Uh, we abandoned this very very fast. It's a classic way to move in the old type. Uh, adventure games when you have got the arrows and you have to trigger the arrow and go just teleport to the, to the next room. Uh, now it's uh, much more easier uh, if you are developing a game or application with, uh, with Unreal Engine because you just to uh, just to uh, track the, the, the place where you have to go, where you want to go and just, uh, just do it. And so we uh, abandoned uh, this way very, very fast, and we uh, focused on the uh, normal movement and uh, teleportation uh, system. Uh, also, we uh, tried the movement way, we called it uh, flickering. It's uh, just uh, uh, something like fade in and fade out when you are moving. Uh, it's not like uh, smoothly moving like in the, the, the one axis, but uh, fade in, uh, Teleport fade out. Uh, I hear that uh, a few studios uh, is using it to, to creating to creating their their games, but uh, we focused on the uh, two 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 ways, the normal way like in the uh, first person. Okay, so um, mo mo most important in the normal movements uh, for me like a. Uh, artist, like a level designer, art director, is, mm, you know, I mm, use it to, I use it to, to creating uh, levels with many floors, many elevators, many stairs, uh, not uh, the, the, the flat levels, but uh, changing the, mm, changing the, the level of the player, uh, for example, if you have got uh, mm, the hills or the mountains, it's uh, very hard to, to avoid them, to avoid, uh, uh, avoid, uh, you know, uh, movement issues, uh, which are very, uh, very, very often in the in the tools like motion sickness and uh, feeling feeling bad with the movement. Uh, so uh, almost uh, every uh, every level in the Alice is uh, prepared for the being flat or if it's uh, even not flat it has got flatted uh, flatted uh, collisions for for the floor uh, okay mm, the next one uh, we we, uh, we uh, provide for the players uh, almost everything uh, Mm, everything uh, with movement it could be changed in the in the setting. 
uh, for example, the speed movement, because uh, many players want to move very slow, and uh, but from the other side, uh, there is uh, the one the one movement speed is uh, bad for 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 number of players. Mm, so we decided to to mm, to mm, to to create a free a free uh, possi many possibilities to to set it up uh, in the game. Uh, for example, uh, during our test, because we spent thousands, I think, hours of testing movement and uh, testing ways how to do it and what is wrong for, uh, and to what is, uh, what is what is good for, for VR. Uh, we have got uh, a few, a few, uh, a few uh, most important things in normal uh, normal movements. It's the strafing, uh, the game part. Uh, when you are strafing, it's not normal uh, to your brain. Uh, when you are designing, designing the game for VR, uh, you have to think what, uh, what your brain should feel in that moment. Because uh, in the normal uh, life, uh, you're probably not strafing uh, uh, around the city or around the street or, the, or not jumping uh, in the room. Uh, the next one, uh, going backwards. Uh, it's a very weird feeling uh, when we are going uh, going backwards. So we can uh, disable it in the settings uh, to avoid uh, circumstances. Uh, the the, 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 the uh, only few uh, few um, levels uh, when uh, where we can uh, change the level of the uh, change the position in, in the level of the player. Uh, our gravity lamps. Lamps. Uh, I will show it uh, to you uh, in a few in a few minutes. Uh, and uh, we have got, I think, two moments uh, where we have got the stairs in the level. Uh, when we want to change the the position of the player, uh, we are uh, using elevators um, for it, and. Uh, and uh, the movement of the elevator is uh, also designed for the VR because uh, we noticed when we are uh, trying to do like the in the normal way when you have good um, non-linear uh, interpolation between one move uh, or one position to another when uh, you know you start from the slow slow movement and going to the fast movement. Uh, it's uh, worse. Then you have uh, got uh, got uh, one uh, one movement uh, speed on the the whole uh, interpolation interpolation. Okay, sorry, auto saving. Uh, now uh, uh, I want to to show you uh, what uh, what is very important for us uh, in the. Uh, in the designing Alice, uh, because uh, according to the, the story of Alice in the Wonderland, when the Alice will have to, to shrink and grow uh, to uh, to get out of the uh, the house, uh, we designed uh, a few puzzles uh, with shrinking and growing. Uh, so I will uh, try to to, to show it uh, to you. Okay, the. Uh, loading room. Uh, okay, uh, I have to go to the to the puzzle. Uh, so I will talk. Uh, uh, I'm talking about the the player side uh, because in the uh, VR it's uh, much more important than in, in the classic classic games uh, because uh, your brain. Uh, Feel, uh, could feel there is something wrong when uh, you are, uh, for example, near the uh, near the grass or near the rock, and it's uh, too big or uh, too, too too small for you. But it could be your advantage because, uh, like in the Alice VR, when you are shrink shrinking and uh, and growing, uh, it's. Uh, 
many of possibilities to uh, to to use that to uh, to get the player something special. Uh, and the idea for this uh, this kind of puzzles uh, started with uh, some kind of bug because uh, in the when we transferred the Alice uh, to the another version. Uh, one of the bug was that our player character was too small to the world, and we tried it in the tried in the VR, and we start thinking it's oh it's awesome. We have to we have to do it. We have to design the the game for it. Okay, uh, we have the two possibilities. One is uh, shrink and uh, one is draw. Of course, uh, everything uh, when, we are, when we are shrinking, everything uh, should be changed. Uh, but the base mechanism for it it's, uh, it's very simple because uh, it's just the changing the player size, uh, changing the scale of the, of the uh, character. Uh, but of course, uh, when we are doing something like that, you have to think about uh, consequences, uh, because, for example, uh, the collisions will uh, will work uh, different when you are uh, when you are, when you are uh, in the normal size. For example, uh, it mm, shouldn't be uh, very hard to go uh, go through the rocks uh, or through the hill, but uh, of to the to the to the, to the, the, the wooden desk, but uh, if you are small, uh, it's not possible in the in the real world. Mm, so of course, uh, when we are uh, shrinking uh, or growing, uh, we are changing the uh, player uh, player character, uh, and uh, and uh, changing the um, setting of sounds because. Uh, I can uh, I can explain how it's working because I know the sound design, but I uh, know we are uh, changing the, the whole uh, sound set for uh, being uh, being, being small. Uh, we tried to uh, change the field of view and, uh, for example, use uh, some uh, custom post process for it, but uh, changing field of view from the other in the VR. It's uh, very uh, uncomfortable for the for the players, and so we abandoned this uh, this idea. Mm. Okay, uh, about shrinking and growing, about uh, changing perspective, and uh, yeah, uh, another. Uh, uh, so uh, the, the most to the conclusion for, for this uh, this part uh, the most important uh, and the, the, the big advantage uh, it may be uh, setting up the right scale of the player and the environment because, um, because uh, everything uh, should be should be um, should be right for your brain because uh, uh, your brain could uh, could uh, uh, could be uh, sorry. Uh, someone disturbed me because he, he was in the in the room. Sorry for that. Uh, okay, uh, your brain could uh, could feel have to feel uh, normal in the VR. Okay, uh, what? Uh, just before uh, Oculus uh, customer version one uh, on the DK two, it was very hard to to um, to get the right uh, performance because uh, there wasn't many drivers for the uh, graphic cards. Uh, Unreal uh, wasn't uh, ready for for uh, for the VR, I think. And uh, our main problem was uh, how to. Uh, how to how to uh, save the 90 uh, frames per second uh, and still have a nice looking and nice looking uh, nice looking game. Uh, but 
now we have got a 4.13 uh, version of the Unreal Engine. Mm, and it's working uh, pretty fine, I think. Uh, many, many tools, uh, we have got many tools now to, to, to uh, to avoid the um, avoid the, the uh, drop of the uh, frames. Uh, for example, the, the one of the most important thing in the developing games for VR is uh, avoiding um, many drawbacks. Uh, drawbacks uh, is the uh, thing when you are when uh, you have got anything on your on your screen. Uh, for example, the the mesh. Uh, it's uh, have to call to your job, uh, to your graphic card to be drawn, so uh, you have got one strong draw call. But still, uh, one mesh has got, uh, for example, four uh, four materials. Uh, so uh, every material here will be another draw call. Uh, to avoid that situation, uh, we are using for the, the first. The first uh, tool which we are using is uh, merging. Uh, it's a just a simple merging uh, merging tool from Unreal Engine. Mm, I think it's uh, since uh, 4.12 or 4.11. It's working uh, very nice. Uh, it's not uh, done here on that level because uh, it's not content block. Mm, but uh, I will show you uh, how it may work. Mm, when you, for example, we are using it to uh, to merge uh, the the rocks from the uh, uh, background, uh, and uh, we are selecting everything what we what need to be merged uh, in the window. Uh, there is uh, in the developer tools section uh, something like merge actors. We have, of course, a uh, few options here. Mm, of course, mm, pivot and others. Uh, the most important for uh, for art is uh, is now uh, use all log LOD levels mm, and uh, replace source actors. When you click for it, you can just. Uh, save it somewhere. Okay, and let's go. Hello. Mm. <laughs> and it's not working now. Uh, okay, sorry, because uh, the level, I think the, the rocks are from uh, another level, so I will try to do it with. Uh, with Works on the same level. Yeah, okay. Are it working? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I did it's wrong, uh, I just uh, select the rocks from uh, from another uh, another levels because uh, when we are designing the levels for a game, especially for the VR, but uh, for the normal normal games, uh, normal games too, uh, we always have to think about streaming uh, streaming levels. And uh, now the merged. Uh, the the merge trucks or not? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, for for example, when you have got the merge uh, merge uh, merge meshes, uh, it's very easy to uh, to using for example uh, any 3D software that use the number of the polygons or if you want to use. Uh, Simply gone or something like that. You can uh, save the textures, materials uh, for it. So it, uh, almost mm, when we uh, we have tried to to to, to merge uh, the almost all actors on the on the scene, and I think it was about uh, 20 to 30 percent of the mm, better performance here. So it's uh, one of the the most uh, most important thing uh, for us, uh, of course.
Uh, the second one, it's uh, mentioned uh, um, streaming levels, uh, because uh, every level, level uh, especially if uh, it is very big, like, uh, like a desert, uh, have got, have got uh, many, many, many different levels for, for the path. Because um, when we have got just a plan, just uh, the, the, the basic persistent level, like here, it's uh, pretty pretty big, but it's just the, the, the landscape. So uh, we are using, of course, uh, stream, uh, streaming levels uh, to to provide the, the better performance, but you have to think about it uh, during the designing the, the game and the levels, uh, because, for example, we have got uh, some streaming level here, and we are going uh, inside it, and uh, the level behind us is unloading, and of course the level uh, just uh, before us it's uh, loading in the same in the same time. Uh, and as you see, we have got speeded blueprint levels and uh, graphic levels, and uh, everything uh, which is. Uh, just the static graphic should be for us on the on the uh, graphic levels. It's uh, like SD Desert uh, 01B for the blueprints and with the Super G for the for the graphics. Uh, it's much much better to when you are working in the bigger uh, bigger team uh, because uh, you can uh, work in the same time uh, on the graphic side of the level and the, the gameplay side. Gameplay. Uh, in the same in the same time. Uh, okay, uh, particles and translucence. Uh, we uh, think the, um, one of the most uh, beautiful things uh, in the Unreal and uh, in the games are uh, particles. Uh, for example, clouds, smoke, steam. Uh, everything uh, which could be um, particle uh, and uh, could, could, could be used in your game because uh, you uh, it provides um, movement and uh, movement for VR is very important. I will uh, set it uh, uh, in the few minutes, but uh, for the performance, mm -hmm. we abandoned uh, powerful tool. Uh, in Android Engine 4, uh, like uh, GPU particles. Uh, they work very fine, uh, but uh, when we are using it in the... In the um, for example, when you have got uh, 100 of the uh, steam uh, particles on the level, uh, GPU particles are very hard uh, to your graphic card to render it well, especially in the, in the VR. Uh, we decided to use uh, standard uh, CPU particles uh, without so many interactions with the world, and, uh, but uh, we want to save the graphic cards for rendering uh, rendering VR. Mm. Avoiding uh, translucent materials uh, are a very important thing too. And for example, uh, we are using uh, Skysphere for uh, Skysphere, sorry, for the uh, for the uh, background uh, to, to 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 change the uh, environment, but still. Uh, we changed the material of a bit. Uh, I want to show you how it looks now. Uh, okay, is someone changed then the name of it? The uh, base material for the from the from the Unreal Engine uh, to uh, to save the 
to save the, the cloud and uh, what happens with, with cloud and translucent materials. So uh, it's everything uh, which which is now the, the, the very big blueprint uh, called uh, Skyscraper. Uh, we just mm, we uh, we noticed the using the the, the uh, classic Skyscraper, uh, which could be could be uh, find in the content uh, content development uh, in Unreal Engine. Uh, it's very uh, it's something like about five to ten uh, FPS uh, in the in the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, one of the main rule in uh, when we are designing uh, levels for the um, for the eyes uh, and for the VR is uh, everything should move. To because um, movement in VR is totally awesome. Uh, for example, oh sorry, auto save again. Don't turn off the auto saving. It may be very, uh, very annoying, but <laughs> of course it's uh, it should it could be very helpful. Yeah, just a few days ago. Uh, we have to restore almost uh, the whole level from the auto save. Uh, okay, movements uh, in the VR. Just uh, something simple, like uh, like a beard in the in the air. Uh, during the events where where we show the Alice VR, uh, uh, we see many we saw many people who just stopped uh, moving and uh, you know looking to the sky and uh, watching the beards and. Uh, when you are thinking about very simple, uh, very simple um, things in VR, like beards or uh, moving grass, uh, for many people it's uh, totally awesome to 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 see the uh, to see the, the moving grass, and uh, it may be it may be weird, it may be something uh, funny or, or stupid. Uh, you but you, you have to think. Uh, about everything uh, which could uh, be moving in the environment, it should move. Uh, the, uh, because um, when you can, um, when you are in the VR, you, you are feeling like uh, being in the, another world. So uh, everything or almost everything is uh, new to you and uh, it's uh, our advantage and uh, we have to, uh, we have to use it to attract the customers or attract the players to the games or uh, to the applications which, are, which we are making. Uh, okay, one of the uh, last uh, things uh, here, uh, sometimes bugs became features. Uh, we can get the situation during the event when, we, uh, when, when someone wanted to uh, use the with the apple like uh, like here and uh, he cannot uh, do it because uh, we mm, we set up the, the wrong uh, size of the tri trigger uh, for for the oh, sorry uh, interactive actor mm, and uh, this guy said hey cannot uh, use the apple how I can do it. Uh, how can I do it? And uh, we have to think very, <laughs> very fast. And we say, uh, sorry, dude, it's a VR. You have to uh, use your body and move near the floor. Because when you are uh, staying in the normal position, in the normal life, you cannot uh, pick up the pick up the elbow. Uh, so it was the start, uh, the, the, the very important moment for us when we are thinking about uh, Alice and how, uh, oops, uh, sorry, <laughs> disappearing April. And it was very important uh, moment for us to um, start thinking how players should uh, interact with the object because uh, in the classic classic ways when you think about the computer games in the computer games anything uh, to interact 
it is possible to do it from, for example, um, five meters and or two meters or something like that. Uh, but uh, in the uh, VR, it's uh, very weird when you can uh, pick up the apple or orange or something like that uh, from a few, few, few meters. Mm, and when you are thinking about, about uh, VR, uh, it's very important to uh, stop thinking in the classic way. Uh, I think in classic way in the game development. Uh, because um, everything here, as I said, is new. And uh, I think we even started thinking about possibilities in the VR. Mm, and uh, and 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 uh, we can do everything here. Awesome. Mm, okay. Uh, and something uh, about uh, why we uh, using an uh, because the dance floor is very simple because we are very familiar with Ghana for the seven years. Uh, the first, of course, it was Unreal Engine. Three and uh, now it's under NG4. And we know the technology and we uh, think it's uh, one of the most uh, beautiful uh, engines now um, on the market. And uh, it's uh, changing, it's up, um, still growing and uh, many, many features are uh, coming now or in the future. Mm, and we uh, very like uh, the, uh, the support uh, from the Android because uh, you have got a growing community and uh, and uh, you can find uh, help in the uh, many on the many sites on the for, uh, forum from Android Engine or Answer Hub or other sites with, with, with the community mm, and. Uh, for us, it's a very powerful tool. For me, it's very important. It's a powerful tool for making some awesome, awesome graphics. Uh, for example, using uh, post-process now is uh, pretty simple, mm -hmm. and uh, there are there is too many, uh, so many options to, in the fast way, uh, simple way, uh, change the, the feeling of the of the level. Mm, one of the uh, one of the most uh, important uh, important important improvement uh, it's a color grading system which is not uh, okay ah, uh, sorry we just uh, transferred the Alice VR from the uh, Unreal 4.12 to Unreal 4.12 and I uh, noticed that something is, uh, is, 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 is disappearing here. Okay, no, it's not, not there. Okay, sorry. Uh, sorry for that. Mm. But still, the post process are the, one of the most important uh, tools to uh, work uh, a bit. Oh, maybe it wasn't the uh, right post process. Yeah, sure. Uh, there it is. For example, uh, using uh, uh, LUT texture, uh, L -A -L -U -T, uh, texture. Uh, it's a very uh, powerful tool. Mm, it works uh, in a simple way. You're saving that kind of texture, and uh, when you uh, put it into the Photoshop, you can uh, use, for example, levels or uh, or saturation or uh, changing uh, color channels to um, to change the um, color of the screen. And uh, just simply uh, use it in the in the in the, in the Android engine, and it's changing the colors in the right way, and it's uh, much more faster than than before. 
and there are many, many small improvements uh, in the under the engine. And uh, the last uh, thing uh, what I want to show you is uh, something like gravity runs. Uh, when you are changing the uh, changing the gravity and uh, allowing player to move around uh, the, on, on the walls or on the roof. So one second, holding the next level. And it was uh, one of the uh, most, one of the hardest things to, to set it uh, up well, uh, because we started from just a simple, simple task, allow player to uh, walk around the, the walls. But uh, for example, the, the, the main, uh, the main, and the at the screen was uh, set up the collisions for the uh, for the walking on the walls because uh, as you can see probably it's not uh, due to the streaming uh, now but uh, we designed it and we think it about uh, changing um, changing the, the axis of the movement and uh, we have done many, we did many focus tests with many players and uh, many collision setups and uh, decided to uh, not using interpolation between uh, between collisions. Uh, I will show you how it looks with the, with the collisions. Uh, because we have to have to change the um, the way how uh, the gravity is working uh, in, the, in the whole day. Uh, we are uh, using another character for for it. It's uh, changing when we are going uh, on the ramp. We are changing the character, and the new character uh, has got uh, gravity per uh, I would say per uh, per the surface. Mm, and it's stick uh, with uh, with with the surface. Uh, we tried uh, that that uh, big block, uh, if you can see, is the collision for the for the levels. We have tried uh, to create a very smooth collision with uh, thousands of the simple boxes, but uh, it's not working because. We have got always uh, some kind of uh, interpolation, and uh, now after um, almost 100 uh, focus tests, uh, we noticed that when you are using functions um, with uh, uh, of the, um, and, and hard changing of the uh, of the player view, it's much better for uh, for motion sickness than. Uh, when you are using the presence of the relation between one and another and another and another. Uh, okay, so I think uh, for me it's uh, and uh, I think we got uh, time for the question. Okay. Uh, questions, yes. Uh, he asked uh, if. It's uh, hard to, to hear us. It's hard to okay, now I can hear you. Did you have any problems with VR? And if so, how did you deal with it? 
Oh, it, now I think it's a problem with the connection and I can't hear you. Yeah, okay, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we have uh, we had many problems with motion sickness uh, before, but uh, for example, uh, as I said just before, with the, with the ramps and the collisions, it was the hard moment for us, uh, but uh, we were already determined to 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 create uh, to create something which we will and. Uh, and uh, and I think it works because uh, almost uh, no one um, complaining the um, the ramps now. Uh, but uh, for example, uh, just uh, no, uh, normal moving. Uh, we wanted to uh, we wanted to uh, provide players a free movement. So uh, as I said before. Uh, we have done many, many tests on the focus tests on the on the, on the people and the players, uh, which is wrong. Uh, what the what is the the, the best uh, setting for you? Uh, for example, disabled straightening, uh, disabled, disabled uh, going backward with the gamepad, uh, because uh, gamepad is uh, something uh, not not natural for your or for your brain uh, because. You are using it, and uh, your brain don't feel it very well. <coughs> but uh, for example, we have got the uh, defaults in the in our game for like uh, the the, the buggy, and uh, as we noticed, uh, the motion sickness uh, with, when you are driving the car is uh, almost uh, almost. Uh, there is no more sickness during the uh, in the car, and uh, what was the conclusion? Uh, uh, it's something what uh, Oculus uh, did with the the hardware, the headset. Uh, they left a small uh, small space uh, between uh, your nose and the, uh, the eyes, so you can see your your nose first. And uh, it's very important to your brain to have uh, have uh, um, something which uh, it could focus on. And um, for example, it may be a graphic user interface in the game, or something like a helmet, or something uh, like uh, controllers in the HTC Vive. really know now. Uh, it's not the finished uh, version of the on the on the whole, uh, on the level because as I said we want to